lovers, and uh, for the last 25 years, we have been specializing in stories of the untold. We start every performance on an empty stage, a tabla rasa, and then we fill it up with ideas. We've been here in Vienna since 1997, and we come from Australia, the United States, Canada, England, Ireland, South Africa, Austria, and Hungary. Um, it's just a couple of us here today. We are going to do this for you now, and we are going to start filling up this stage with your ideas. Thank you so much for stopping by upstairs in the Red Lounge. Michael's taken off the seal, and it's filled with all kinds of lovely ideas. Uh, Oscar, our guitar player, Oscar, uh, I believe this says, catch a photo. Catch, catch a photo. Okay. That's the inspiration for you to start something. Catch a photo. <laughs> the stigmatism of blood. My blood is my own. It belongs to me. Nobody else has to talk about it. Because it's inside of me. I get to talk about it in any way I want. I get to say who gets to talk about what's inside of me. Here, this is amazing. I haven't seen this stuff in so long. Look at that. It's creepy. Yeah. It's one of those dolls where the eyes follow you wherever you go. It's got eyes in the back of its head, man. <laughs> Super weird. Who do you think it belongs to? Well, it must have belonged to somebody at some point. Hey, look at that. How do you, uh... How do you do essential things like changing the world and your community? Well, that's when a big question. you're stuck in an attic with a doll that's watching you. <laughs> Well, this thing happens to be a chest full of untold stories, so... Well, look at this one. February 13th, 1938. I'm standing on the bow of a ship called the Timeless. The SS Timeless. The sky and the sea meet one another somewhere in the distance where they become the same color. I look out over the ocean. It's unending possibilities, just like of my own. At that moment, while I was lost in a reverie, my friend, Mary, Mary Whitford came to visit. She'd been playing tennis. Oh. Hey. Hi, Mary. Hey, why weren't you at the tennis courts? I was, I'm, I'm sorry, I was, I was completely lost in what was going on in my head. It was psychedelic mushrooms I took. <laughs> I, I, for a couple of minutes I thought I was God, and then I ended up talking to this guy called Walter. Hey, man! <laughs> I'm still searching for the idea that he left me. <laughs> How was tennis? Um, we shared. You did? Shared, yes. What you do, you shared, we shared ball, we, the game? We marked out the court and we shared, the three of us, because you weren't there. Oh, I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. Well, to make it up, let me, let me make 
you this offer. A big impact. <laughs> Back there, come on. Okay. Jerome's best friend was a one-armed butcher. <laughs> this is how that butcher lost his arm. <laughs> good morning. Yes, good morning. How, how can I help you? Nice bit of brisket, please. Yes, piece of brisket. Yes. Coming right up. Hey, boss, I got a new, uh, I got a new cow ready to take apart. And, uh, I, got, I was going to use parts of the old cow. Ooh, well, I also got the new... Uh, I think we should use the new and improved cow. Yes, it's a good I agree. Idea. Please, I'll have the new cow. Yes, okay, can yeah, uh, yeah. you, you help me? Because I got the new yeah, chainsaw. Yeah, I'm not sure, sure exactly sure. how yeah, it works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, lamb sausage. <laughs> uh, we don't have any more briskets. No, we do. Here you are. <laughs> squirt, 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 squirt. Enjoy. Fresh. Thank you. Why risk your life for a photograph? You know, I suppose there are a lot of places and reasons to do that. I can't imagine Instagram is one of them. <laughs> it's only, it's only our wedding day, it's not that bad. Not like I it's... always cry at weddings because self-contained grief is self-destructive, so I have to let it out. Why are you, <laughs> but sweetheart, why are you grieving about our wedding? I don't know, it's just the thought that incorporated pain is disgusting. And bringing you into my where, life is going to incorporate pain where's, where's into my life. Where's this coming from? Write diaries. Write diaries. Well, I could write diaries, but it wouldn't soften the pain, would it? Because the story about us. I mean, what could have happened? I don't well, know. The, the we went off the rails but somewhere. The problem was I wasn't afraid of anyone else besides you, and I thought, that's a good place to start. Darling, everyone has a story worth telling. It's just that you never listened to mine. But if it's, if it's not okay, then it's not the end. I'm still listening. I'm just. You know what we used to call you at school? What? Buckingham Phallus. <laughs> yes, yes, because you slept with every girl in the dorm, I remember. But blood was power in our medium. Yes, pig's blood. Pig's blood. No, it was oh, my own sure. blood. <gasps> I, I can't read that. Circle is poetry. We should be a circle together, you and I, and I, and no. I just don't feel like that's what's happening. You're, you're, you're chicken. <laughs> we should be a square. Uh, I, Write more I, diaries. I'm sick of writing diaries. I want something real between us. Yes, the voyeurism of reading other people's diaries is not a good basis for a relationship. I'm I don't sorry. want to interrupt, but could we continue with the wedding? Oh. I don't know. Well, I'm going um, to check with my shareholders. <laughs> uh, Stephen, Stephen, Barbara Whiting. I didn't sleep with her. There wasn't any blood left. You didn't. Truth oh. is stranger than fiction. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm going to get the record player. It would be so nice if we could listen to that old record that was ours. Do you remember back at school? Yes. Will you sing it with me? Yes. Everybody's stories have the right to be heard. Yes. Even the smallest ones. You start. The cows are in the field, the horses in the stable. We'll stay together as long as we are able. The trees are out there and the grass is feeling fine. We'll lie under the sun for a while. Photographs of words are timeless. Timeless. Was that it? We got it.
already. Okay. Oh my God, you made such a mess of the stage. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the talk. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, friends and neighbors, and everybody in between. How are you all? Yeah! Yay! Rock and roll! Uh, we are the English Lovers, and for those of you who don't know us, we are a theater ensemble based here in Vienna. We hail from the United States, Canada, South Africa, England, Ireland, and Australia. And we are this year celebrating our 25th season together here in Vienna. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. We specialize in theater uh, that is created in the moment that it is performed. So we improvise our stories. All of our stories are untold. And every time we step onto stage, we step onto the emptiness of it and try to fill it with ideas. Wow. And tonight, we are going to start by filling this space with some of your ideas. Thank you very much for all of the folks that uh, came down to write down things that resonated with them from that first session from this evening. Here they are. Michael has broken the seal. I'm just going to pick this one. Oh, my goodness. This is the longest one in the world. Some of there are, there, there are on page two. Yeah, there are two pages. <laughs> <laughs> but I heard more than one person say, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, Oscar, I'm just going to read uh, this page. To the fullest possible degree, everything else, everything we can't control doesn't matter. That's your first inspiration to hit us with some music. Mum, please take a seat. I, I need to talk to you. It's, it's really That's important. All. Tell me. Your creepy eyes gave you away. Oh, <laughs> not again. Look. What am I going to do about this? What do you mean, what are you going to do? You're going to stop being, you're going to stop being creepy. You're going to stop eating my chocolate. But, but I've, I've been creepy all my life. That's how I got you. <laughs> and... And I, I'm very grateful for, for that. Yes. But my gratitude has limits. Oh, really? Look, if you're going to live in my house, yes. I'm going to need you to, uh... <laughs> pinch it like real skin. <laughs> okay? So All just, right. just, yes, yes, just right. keep yes. it real, yes. okay? Yes, yes, okay. Turn okay. on, turn okay. on. Okay. Okay. Oscar, yeah, okay. <laughs> your, uh, your next uh, inspiration is regret. <laughs> God. <laughs> Silence when you want to be loud. Silence when talking's not allowed. Eat you up inside. It will take you down. Take you down. When you have something you need to say. Bye. 
heavens is not what you want when you want to be loud. Michael, on that piece of paper, it says shrinking amygdala. amygdala. Can, you, can you physicalize the shrinking amygdala for us? Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Should I take the box so you can do something? Oh, okay. <laughs> My favorite murderer is a sentence that I never thought I would say. My favorite murderer. I wanted my piece of flesh. Is that why you became a murderer? Yep. This is my favorite murderer. <laughs> Her name is Angela. Why did you want your piece of flesh? The concept of respecting people's privacy by not sharing content they are in online was never something I really understood. Because I've always felt that we should all share everything, including our flesh, mm. with each other. So I'd be willing to give you some of my flesh. Uh, really? <laughs> well, you can see why she's my favorite. <laughs> I have no free will. Well, that's fine, because I'll deal with everything. You don't even have to choose where the flesh comes from. Okay. Um, I, I, I just wanted to tell you guys something because this is really important. Please. Okay. My arugula is too small. Well, but everything about me is too small. Right. As I, we've learned, yes. uh, that there are different rules for things that are smaller. Ah. Quantum rules. Uh, ah. Right. So um, that's okay, though. Yeah. I have a, a, a video for you. It's, oh, yeah? it's an amygdala that's getting bigger. Wow! <laughs> we can do this for you in <laughs> modern medical science. Yeah. Wow! <laughs> Thank you, Michael. I have a weird brain. I have a weird brain. It's because of my creepy eyes. That's true. Yes. There's definitely genetically something that combined connects us. Yes. Um, I, I was at a meeting the whole time. <laughs> during, yes. during my conception? Is that during you your mean? conception. Really? Yes. Who, yes. who were you meeting? Um, well, quite a lot of people. That's why I don't know who your father is. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is a really, really nice congress. It's it, it, uh, lovely. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it was a wonderful meeting. Um, yeah. I really enjoyed meeting you. Well, thank you so much. Hey, so you want to go for a drink later? Oh, I'd love to go for a drink later. Hoppala. I was wondering, yes. um, the, the meeting was a, a, a exceptional. Yes. Uh, would you like to meet with me as well later? You mean without an online dating thing? Without anything. Ooh. Clothes. Food for thought. Yes. <laughs> yes, I think, I think you're right. Food, food for thought. Uh, I can't read that. Um, yeah, thank you. Emotional regulations for kids at school. Cool! What does that mean? That means... It means we could get regulations for our emotions. I never know what to do with my emotions. Don't worry, kids. I have a remote control. So, now you're angry. <laughs> That's emotional regulation. More homework? No way! Well, what do you think about this? Now you're happy. 
<laughs> you want to do homework with me? <laughs> no, I don't. I love that about you. Nostalgic. You Remember when to... I didn't do homework with you? <laughs> Remember when we didn't have homework? Ah, oh, happy times. Yeah. Jealous. You get less homework than I do. I do. Yeah, you do. Why is that? Favoritism. Teacher's pet. Love. My pet. <laughs> and teachers, but I'm threesome. <laughs> Ooh, that sounds nice. This will be my first time. And your second. <laughs> Should we make friends? Yes, please. Yes. <clears throat> I mean, yes, please. Yes. How old are you? Old enough. <clears throat> How do you know you're old enough? Uh, because... Uh, You've done it before? Yes, let's say that. I don't believe you. I'll prove it to you. Oh. <laughs> I will uh, use my cerebral cortex. <laughs> Do you have a condom that fits that? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much.